Are you eagerly awaiting the latest insights into the changing Abbey real estate market, but find yourself drowning in complex market data and fluctuations? What if I told you in the next few minutes, we are going to uncover the mysteries of the Abbey real estate landscape and equip you with the valuable insight and knowledge to navigate the market with confidence. Welcome to your Abbey real estate market update and let's dive in. Before we uncover the August market update for all three property types, let's talk about the recent bank of Canada meeting. Let's face it folks, these guys have been causing a lot of anxiety to Canadian homeowners for the last two years with their 10 rate hikes. On September 6, Bank of Canada met. They decided that they were not going to raise rates at the time being. They noted that the economy was contracting, which is good news. The main thing Bank of Canada is focused on is getting inflation back to 2%. The inflation rate in July was around 3.2%. The next Bank of Canada meeting is on October 25th. Every time the there's chatter about possible rate hikes this impacts buyer psychology in the Abbey real estate market and this is what I mean folks let's step back to the last eight months earlier this year when Bank of Canada had announced that they were putting a pause on rate hikes what we saw was increased buyer confidence in the market we were seeing low demand on the listing side and higher demand on the buyer side in may we witnessed multiple offers for all three property types so what this means is we could see a busy fall as a real estate agent we have two busy markets that's the spring and the fall market. I'll share a story about one of my investor clients that was looking to buy an investment property beginning of this year. At that point in time, there were a lot of economists and the general public was really down on the Abbey real estate market. At that point in time, this individual had an opportunity of buying a detached home here in central Abbotsford around $899,000 to $920,000. At that point, he told me, you know what, Gary, I just want to wait for a couple of months and to see what's going to happen with the market. He told me that his mortgage broker was advising him that home prices could fall even further with possible rate hikes. And what happened is over the next couple of months as they waited on the sidelines, home prices increased by two to three hundred thousand dollars eventually my clients did end up buying an investment property but they paid a higher purchase price next if you are a homeowner and your mortgage is coming up for a renewal later this year or in early next year start speaking to your mortgage broker as soon as possible to figure out what your new mortgage payments might be on, under the new interest rate if you still have any questions related to your mortgage renewal you can book a meeting with me by clicking on the link in the description the most important stat that you want to pay attention to in real estate is the sales to active ratio this ratio tells us whether we are in a buyer's balanced or a seller's market a buyer's market is anything between 0 to 11 percent a balanced market is 12 to 20 percent and a seller's market is anything 21 percent and over next let's talk about the east Abbotsford detached market represented a buyer's market with a sales to active ratio of 20.3 percent east Abbotsford recorded the most sales out of any area it continues to be in high demand for people looking to upgrade here in Abbotsford or people from the lower mainland looking to relocate to Abbey. The few reasons why people want to move to East Abbotsford is because it's very family and kid friendly. The days on market for a East Abbey home was 14. And if you were looking at the average price per square foot for a detached home, it was around $456. Next, let's just talk about the Abbey detached market in general. The Abbotsford detached market in general was representing a balanced market and the average days on market for a home was 15. The few reasons why the detached market could have entered a balanced market could be that a lot of homeowners, buyers, and realtors were gone on vacation, or there was also a lot of talk about future rate hikes. Next, let's talk about the Abbey townhome market. The Abbey townhome market is on fire. The sales to active ratio for the Abbey townhome market is 37.1%, meaning it's a seller's market. And what we're seeing across the board is there's still low inventory and high demand on the buyer's side. In August, East Abbotsford recorded 42 sales for townhomes and West Abbotsford recorded 52 sales. What we saw month over month from July to August, the number of new listings actually decreased. The most active price range for townhomes is the $600,000 to $700,000. In this price range, you're either looking at buying an older townhome built in the late 90s or the early 2000s. If you still have any questions on finding the right townhome, luckily I got you covered. You can click on the link above where I share tips on buying the right townhome. Next, let's talk about the Abbey condo market. The Abbey condo market is still representing a seller's market at 
5%. Here's the thing folks, when first time home buyers are getting pre-approved, the thing that they're going to be looking to purchase is a condo. It might be either a one bedroom or two bedroom condo. Majority of the home sales for condos occurred for those two bedroom units. There still isn't enough listings to keep up with the buyer demand. The days on market for condos here in Abbey is about 13 and there were 62 sales recorded in August. Here's one of the things that I can tell you folks, it doesn't matter if you're buying a townhome or a condo, if it's priced right and it shows well, there's a very good chance that you might be in a multiple offer scenario. So that's why it's very important for you to be pre-approved and you wanna be working with the right realtor. Talk to anyone about the Abbey or the Fraser Valley real estate market and everyone will have their own two cents on where the market is headed. The thing is folks, if you wanna be a successful homeowner and make a lot of money through price appreciation, one of the best things that you can do is simply buy and hold quality real estate and sit back and do nothing. One of the things that you will do is you'll enjoy your day-to-day -day life. You won't worry about the day-to-day -day fear mongering as well. So if you are in the market and you already bought a home, live in it. Enjoy your one bedroom or two bedroom condo, townhome, or a detached home for a minimum of eight to 10 years. That's one big land's golden holding rule. And I've seen a lot of my own clients and other people that have made a lot of money through just buying and holding. If you're still in the Abbey real estate market and you're looking to sell your detached home, luckily I got you covered. Check out this video on the side where I walk you through the step-by-step -step process of selecting the right listing agent. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.